What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and I have an update for you guys on the Detroit Lions practice squad roster, okay? So let's get right into it. So we have some news that I just came across, and the initial news, maybe the thumbnail, what you see, is kind of interesting, but what's more interesting to me is kind of the second part maybe you don't know about at this time, okay? Because since the Detroit Lions brought in two players to the practice squad, they decided to move on from two players currently from the practice squad, and that was more intriguing to me than even signing the two players to the practice squad. Let's just hop right into it. We'll waste no time. Now, both of these guys are guys that we talked about in our other video. When we did that roster update with Andy Jones on the thumbnail, you know, that kind of thing, we talked about all these players the Detroit Lions were bring in to work out well they signed two of those players to the practice squad okay and unfortunately maybe they're not guys that you were hoping for maybe his name is Tyree Jackson no it's not Tyree Jackson okay and I don't know what this means but I don't know if Tyree Jackson will be on the squad but it doesn't seem like a good sign because they did sign a quarterback and that is Chad Kanoff so they signed Kanoff to the practice squad okay now this is a guy that spent time with the Cardinals back in 2018 when he went as an undrafted free agent out of Princeton which is kind of cool right I like the Princeton jerseys actually I'm not gonna lie but he went undrafted as a free agent and then he brought was brought in by the Cardinals and he stayed there on their practice squad He also moved up a few times to the roster, but stayed on the practice squad for most of it um, But now he's here with the Detroit Lions on their practice squad Okay, so he had that workout with the Lions and now he's there looking at the Detroit Lions practice squad I don't think it's a problem to bring in some quarterbacks I know some of you guys actually said Kanoff was a guy that you liked some of you like Heineke whatever it may have been the fact is they brought in Kanoff, and Kanoff is a guy that, okay, maybe we'll see him, maybe we won't, I don't know what to expect, but looking at our three quarterbacks currently on the roster, I can see Lions wanting to keep a couple guys underneath that, you know, just in case anything happens, just to have maybe some other players that, at some point, who knows, maybe they could be brought up to the active roster, and this guy in Kanoff, he definitely has experience doing that. Now, we have another guy that has some experience in games a lot more than Kanoff does, and this is a wide receiver who we signed, and that is Marvin Hall. So, again, we signed two players, Marvin Hall is one of those other players, okay? Marvin Hall was a guy that went as an undrafted free agent back in 2016, and he has played 27 games since with the Atlanta Falcons, so pretty awesome. So from 2017 and 2018 seasons, he was able to rack up 12 receptions for 209 yards, two touchdowns, which is just over 17 yards per reception, and a lot of kick returns for just over 600 yards, which averages out to 23.7 yards per kick return, which isn't bad. It's a solid number. Uh, so I guess if he had to, he could definitely play that position. But he has played a little bit more in the league. He's bounced around a little bit more than Kanoff has. So we'll see what he can bring to the table. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Marvin Hall was actually brought up. Being a wide receiver, looking at our wide receiver depth, I could see a guy being moved up. Now, now, the interesting part to me is the two players that we released, and this was super surprising, okay? Now, the first guy we released was Jonathan Duhart, the wide receiver we currently have. So, when we decided to not put him on the 53-man roster, I heard the talk that, hey, you know what? They're going to probably put him on the practice squad. That's what he did. On from Jonathan Duhart, at least for now. So, we'll see what happens there, but Jonathan Duhart out, Marvin Hall in, okay? I guess they kind of swapped there. But they also ended to go with another guy, and this guy is Mark Thompson, and this is where I was surprised. Kind of shocked, honestly. Mark Thompson, I didn't think we would cut Mark Thompson. But we did. He's not even on the practice squad anymore. So Mark Thompson, man out of Florida, who was looked like a beast in the preseason, who we thought out beat out Zach Zetter, he's not even on the practice squad anymore, okay? So they brought in a wide receiver and a quarterback. They cut Mark Thompson and Jonathan Duhart. So I just want to give you guys an information. I just really want to hear your thoughts and comments below, okay? Because I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think about this move, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't super happy about it, um, but I was just surprised. You know, I was kind of surprised Mark Thompson was moved on from. I was not expecting that to happen. But this is what the Lions did. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated I mean, if anything else goes down anyways we'll probably have a prediction video i'm thinking friday or saturday for the lions versus cardinals and the season of prediction will be very similar to that time period okay anyways thank you for watching y'all are awesome and i'm out